All right. The first card that we have here is the victim card. Um, with the victim energy here for the month of October, I do feel that there's going to be a lot of reflecting that you're going to be doing, Scorpio, on the good, bad, as well as the ugly. And this could be you or your partner, but someone is going to be feeling like they've been done wrong, that they've been wronged in some sort of way, that they've been stabbed in the back, okay? That... Um, That they've been stabbed in the back and betrayed in some kind of way, okay? And um, for some of you, I feel that you, Scorpio, that you'll be wrongly accused of something as well, all right? That, um, that your partner or someone that you're very close to will accuse you of doing something that they feel may have hurt them, okay? And, and this, may have, this may be something that they feel was done intentionally, but was not intentional on your part or their part. On the bottom of the deck, we have the, the Seven of Wands. And this is all about making it through difficult times, tough times, okay? Standing strong, standing firm in times where you need to stand firm to make it through bad weather. All right, Scorpio, the first card that we have here is the Ace of Wands, and this is about new opportunities, okay? So there may be a new job, new love coming in, a new opportunity for your relationship to progress, okay? And I do have a feeling that some of you guys are pregnant right now, that there may be, um, that you might find out that you're pregnant or, in, or that some of you guys may be closer nearing to the end of a pregnancy here with the Ace of Wands, I also feel that some of you guys may be involved with a fire sign. So we're looking at Aries, okay, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, we have the Page of Cups. So there will be a message of love or a message that's received in the month of October from your significant other. All right, also I do feel that some of you guys are involved with a water sign. So we're looking at Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I do feel that emotions are going to be running high in the month of October and that there will be lots of messages, um, reconciliation, messages of reconciliation. I also do feel like this is a, an, an indication of new love coming in for a lot of you guys, new opportunities, okay? Okay. And then we have the page of swords, lots of lots of pages here. So I feel like with the page of cups along with the page of swords, that there will be loving conversations. There will there will, there will be important conversations between you and your significant significant other that will be taking place this month. I also feel that some of you guys may be involved with air signs. So lots of air, water, and fire sign, fire energy here. Okay. Very important conversations about um, your relationship will be taking place in the month of October. Lots of sweet messages and, and, and opportunities for you and your significant other to actually um, converse about the things that you guys want. Um, the Just really just lots of sweet messages and sweet conversations. But there is going to be a time where you guys are going to have to talk about this particular issue here where someone was offended, someone felt like they were done wrong. However, I do feel like someone is going to be feeling like they were done wrong. Somebody felt like they were, you know, felt, feels as though they've been stabbed in the back. But you guys, you and your partner are going to come together. You guys are going to conversate about this particular issue and get down to the root of the issue. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more clarification for your cards here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. So someone is kind of dealing with someone that's very stingy, a stingy lover, someone that is not yet quite ready to commit. Um, they do have deep feelings for you, Scorpio, but they're not just 
they're not there quite yet. They're not on the same page as you. Um, I do also feel that um, someone is upset about something that has either taken place in the previous month or something that's going to take place in early October. And again, like I said before, they're going to feel as though they've been wronged or stabbed in the back. Um, there will be, and this could be you or your partner, but one of you guys are going to, um, you, you're going to be doing the silent treatment. Okay, you're going to be ignoring your significant other, but towards the middle of October, there will be conversation between the two of you guys. Um, and this is going to, this is going to, for some of you guys, when you open up to your partner about how it is that you feel, your partner is going to is going to communicate with you. However, the conversation between the two of you guys is going to be one that is not, it's not going to be a very, it, it could be a heated conversation between the two of you guys when you guys have this conversation. It's not going to be a pretty conversation. The conversation may be intense, okay? All right. However, I do feel that you guys are going to be getting down to the source of the issue. For some of you guys, I am seeing new love. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards. Okay, Scorpio, I'm also seeing that um, I feel like the root of the issue here with the victim card is that you or your partner is comparing, um, you're either comparing your significant other to somebody from your past or your, or your significant other is comparing you to somebody from your past. Or you may be doing a lot of reflecting on um, your relationship with your significant other and when things were, um, uh, when, you, when you were more happier or when you and your partner were were at a better place, okay? Again, issues for the beginning of October. There's going to be some disagreements, some battles. Um, sometimes where you and your partner, a time where you and your partner may feel as though they've been stabbed in the back. This is going to create some friction where it's going to be difficult for you and your significant other to um, connect, okay? Okay. There's going to be um, there's going to be opportunities for you guys to conversate about this particular issue. However, I don't feel that you guys are going to come to an agreement. It's going to be one of those situations where you agree to disagree and then you move forward from there. OK, I'm definitely sensing that, you know, that Scorpio, that you're involved with someone that is stingy and greedy and kind of even stubborn to a certain extent. And they have, um, they have a temper. They're very temperamental. And, um, you know, this, this is an issue for you because it creates a lack of compassion, um, not only within the relationship, but you are beginning to feel as though you've lost love for your significant other due to this particular temperamental temp temper, temper, tantrum type personality and the fact that they also have a tendency to be um, stingy and even stubborn from time to time. Okay. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice for your cards. Okay. Spirit, please give Scorpio some spiritual advice in regards to their partnership, their relationship. And I know I got to get that battery. All right, so your spiritual advice here, Scorpio. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So this is all about, you know, moving forward from um, any issues in the past, just letting go, pushing forward um, so that your relationship can more or less get back on track. The second card that we have here is the get to know each other. Learning to meet another's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. 
Okay. And so this is exactly what I was seeing here. There's going to be, um, you and your partner need to really come to a common ground. I feel like this month that you guys aren't going to really come to a common ground. Um, I don't feel like there's going to be completely a total breakup for all of you Scorpios. There may be some separations for some of you guys. And then um, some of you guys may go ahead and stick things through. But um, you and your partner really need to have some time to sit down and, and conversate about expectations and, and really kind of trying to reach again a common ground because I don't feel that October is going to be the month that you guys have reached a common ground. I'm seeing more, you know, a little bit more work for November and probably a transformation for the beginning of the year in January. All right. All right, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and look at the sexual aspects, the sensual aspects of your reading. Okay. What's your partner secretly desires? Spirit, what does Scorpio's partner secretly desire? Shut this door because I can't deal All right, so at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Chariot card. So this is all about moving forward. We also have the Freedom card. So this is just, you know, really kind of opening up, um, expressing your emotions, your feelings, and um, not being so uptight, just being loosening up your wings and being more open-minded, Scorpio. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is all about fixing problems here. And, and even having uh, having the opportunity to fix issues. So I do feel like you may be restricting your significant other to a certain extent this month in October. And um, your, your partner just really wants that opportunity to bring things back into balance. However, they may not know how to um, how to kind of pick the pieces of the puzzle, um, the puzzle up and, and kind of put things back together. OK, the world card represents completion, happiness, traveling. Your partner may want to travel and just really kind of get together and have some fun and 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 be able to more or less enjoy each other's time. Okay. And then we have the lovers card. So this is all about um, not only being lovers, but also being friends. Okay. And just really having the opportunity to show each other compassion. Okay. Happiness, a happy, loving couple here. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards in regards to what your significant other wants from you. Another one. All right, okay. So in the deck, we have the guidance card. This is all about, um, again, moving forward and even getting some counseling, marriage counseling, couples counseling, um, or even a mediator, someone that can kind of help you guys out with your relationship, okay? May need to do some sort of spiritual cleansing for your relationship and some workings. Scorpio, okay? We have the Beyond Illusion. So this is all about getting down to the source of the issues. This also to me represents that you and your partner are soulmates. That there's definitely a deeper connection on a soul level between you and your partner, Scorpio. The second card that we have here is the postponement. So again, I feel like somebody's ignoring someone. Someone has been distancing themselves from their significant other and their partner wants the opportunity to, um, with a, you, the world card is up underneath it. So this is about rebirth, okay? Um, starting all over, starting fresh. And again, here we have the rebirth card. So this is all about having another chance, giving your significant other another opportunity to make things right or to just more or less start all over, start fresh within the relationship here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the sexual aspects of your reading, Scorpio, in regards to what your significant other wants. Your 
Scorpios, the biggest freaks of the Zodiac. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, the first card that we have here is the full card. Again, this is all about starting fresh, starting new, okay? Trying new, th new things, maybe a threesome or um, just trying different things, okay? Doing something totally outside the box, okay? We have the four of sex wands, feminine energy taking over the masculine energy here. Cowgirl, okay? Riding it, cowgirl style. All right. And then we have the strength card. OK, so this is all about, you know, you and your partner really coming together and strengthening your relationship and having that intense, passionate um, sexual energy within your relationship, recharging here. 